Time now for the segment that puts the power in the hands of the people. Yeah. And by that, I mean Courtney and Tracy. <laughs> no longer will we live under the thumb of these tyrannical yeah. producers. Yeah. We're the people what they the want. News. Yeah. All right, so the game is but very simple. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's not take it down. <laughs> All right, the game goes like this. I just, you, I put, we put two hints on the screen. Okay. Uh, or like headlines. Yeah. Based on that alone, you decide which story you would like me to read. Okay. I am at your beck and call. Ooh, That's like crazy. it. Let's go. I'm actually not at your beck and call. <laughs> <laughs> Don't Thanks. tell me to get your dry cleaning. <laughs> All right, round one. You ready? Your choices are Spy Games or God's Plan. Mm. Tracy. You know we all about the Lord. Let's go with and God's Plan. And the church plan. said amen. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. You guys are going with God's, God's plan. plan. Guys, a pastor from Colorado has admitted to taking more than a million dollars from his followers, but not to worry. Uh oh. It was God's plan. Oh. Financial yeah. regulators say Eli Regalado launched a cryptocurrency for Christians that he called INDX coin, mm -mm. telling his followers the Lord told him they would be rich if they invested in it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And they did invest more than $3 million Get worth. Out. Apparently, though, he left out the part where the Lord told him to spend the money on a home remodel, jewelry, luxury goods, wow. and an au pair. Wow. So you got to read the fine print in any contract. Uh, apparently. Yeah. 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 Uh, regulators say Regalado and his wife pocketed at least $1.3 million. That's what they've been to, able to document so far. Say, hey, you know what the Lord would have told me? <laughs> do what you need to do to get your money back. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I suspect there may be some smiting in the future. <laughs> um, by the way, guys, he's not denying the charges. In fact, in a video posted on the INDX coin website, which I think uh, we've all set to oh, yeah, page, yeah, yeah. Uh, he said the charges are true and that, quote, we took God at his word and sold cryptocurrency with no clear exit. <gasps> what? Don't try to put Why didn't he do something for the church? By the way, uh, I don't think it's not having a clear exit is the problem here. It's that you took the money that's supposed to be invested in the coin yeah. right. and put it in the for walls your of own your house. Personal, yeah. But you know, if you think about it, guys, why is he facing charges? When he, with that um, logic, shouldn't God be the one charged here? Oh, they oh. Listen, y'all, y'all. They gonna move back court. Y'all, y'all yeah. gonna get enough of putting yeah. stuff on the move back court just in case. <laughs> yeah. da, 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 da. Uh, regulators <laughs> say INDX coin is basically worthless mm -hmm. now, and it's not clear how or if investors will get their money back. But in that it's same video, awful. Regalado and his wife said they still believe God will quote work a miracle in the financial sector. Look here. Look here. Look here. See, that, that's a cultural moment because I'm gonna tell you, in my community, <laughs> he wouldn't be still living in that house. We all be living in that house. <laughs> he's, he's so, according to him, mm -hmm. uh, with all the problems going in the world, <laughs> the uh, the the creator mm -hmm. is concerned about turning around the crypto market. Yeah, yeah. The word says, "Pride cometh before the fall." Yeah. Oh, you gonna fall, all right? <laughs> oh, you gonna fall? All right, guys, round two, your choices are got to coach him up or all about that base. I was still got to coach him up. I was about to say, he trying to set us up. Okay. <laughs> guys, uh, anytime something in life is challenging, you can be sure there will be somebody willing to coach you through it uh -huh. for a fee. Uh -huh. Now, I give you empty nest coaches. Parents what? whose kids have gone off to college are paying coaches to help them adjust no. to life without kids in the house. No. Cordy, I thought you'd like this one since <laughs> you're in this position now. According to the Wall Street Journal, there are organizations that certify empty nest coaches. Stop it. Stop. <laughs> who charge as much as $250 an hour for their services. Someone pays that? Jason Ramsden is one of those coaches. You're looking at him here. He has more than 50,000 followers on TikTok. The journal talked to one dad who paid $2,000 for weekly Stop. video conferences beginning three months before his son left for college and said he plans to do it again when his daughter goes off to school, wow. you know, to brush up. <laughs> now, guys, uh, we're looking at essentially wealthy people hiring ding, ding, coaches. Ding. Yeah. to tell them how to spend their extra time and cash. Now, if that sounds ridiculous, look at it this way. The coach is helping solve the extra cash part of the problem. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's gone. Listen, Listen, if you're a rich person watching this, <laughs> in this boat, 
I will give you my Venmo. Just send me the money and I'll solve that half of the problem for you too. I just wow. hope these kids still have money for college. Right? Uh, After all this. But the daughter, guy doing the videos did look real earnest. He looked like, uh, you know, like he was really into it. I mean, he better. If he's getting $250 an hour, he better look amazing. Watch this. Convincing. Watch how earnest all look. <laughs> That's the your eyebrow. earnest look? The eyebrow. <laughs> So everybody watching, you owe me $250. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, your final round. Your choices are didn't see it coming or can't stop, won't stop. <laughs> what do you think, Tracy? Let, let's can't stop, won't stop. Yeah. <laughs> you guys do can't stop, let's do it. Won't let's do stop. it. All right, guys, a Brazilian man take proved that, that. he is about that party life <laughs> when he spent four days partying after being shot in the head. Oh my gosh. 21 year old Mateus Fascio told Globo News that it started at a big New Year's Eve celebration, like kind of like a rave type thing or okay. something outdoors. He felt something hit his head really hard, reached up what? and felt blood in his hair. Oh but my gosh. Kept on partying. Next day, he went home and then went to work and then met some friends in Rio de Janeiro for more fun.